Have you ever wondered about the impact of photovoltaic fields and afforestation on climate change? In a world where the climate is rapidly changing, we are constantly seeking for solutions to slow down this process and possibly reverse its effects. Two such solutions that have emerged are photovoltaic fields and afforestation. Photovoltaic fields or solar farms harness the power of the sun to generate electricity, while afforestation involves planting trees to absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. But how do we measure the effectiveness of these solutions? One way is through the concept of break-even time. This is the time required for these initiatives to offset the warming impacts they initially caused. For instance, while a solar farm might generate clean energy, the process of setting it up could have a temporary warming effect. Similarly, while trees absorb carbon dioxide, the act of planting them might disrupt the local ecosystem initially. It turns out, the break-even time varies significantly between photovoltaic fields and afforestation. So how exactly do photovoltaic fields and afforestation compare in terms of climate change? Mitigation. It's a compelling question and one that a recent study endeavoured to answer. The research compared both strategies, quantifying what's called the break-even time. That's the length of time it takes for the climate benefits of each method to offset any initial warming impacts from, say, reduced surface reflectivity. For photovoltaic fields, that break-even time is shockingly short, coming in at just about two and a half years. But for afforestation, particularly in dry land areas, it's a different story entirely. The break-even time there, over 50 times longer. Yes, you heard that right, over 50 times longer than photovoltaic fields. But the contrasts don't stop there. The study also found that photovoltaic fields take the lead in terms of efficiency in atmospheric carbon mitigation. How much of a lead, you ask? Well, sit tight because this might surprise you. Photovoltaic fields are approximately 100 times more efficient than afforestation. That's a staggering difference, one that certainly makes photovoltaic fields seem like the clear front runner in this race against climate change. However, it's not as simple as declaring photovoltaic fields the outright winner. Scene script. Afforestation, despite its longer break-even time, offers other ecological benefits. What are these benefits, you may ask? Well, afforestation acts as a bedrock for biodiversity enhancement. It fosters the growth of a myriad of flora and fauna, creating a vibrant ecosystem teeming with life. Moreover, it plays a vital role in preventing soil erosion, a critical issue that often goes under the radar. Trees hold the soil together with their extensive root systems, reducing the chances of landslides and other natural disasters. Now, it's essential to remember that our world is a tapestry of different climate zones. Each has its unique characteristics and challenges. Therefore, a one-size-fits-all approach simply won't work. Instead, we need a balanced, nuanced strategy. In dry lands where afforestation may pose a challenge, Photovoltaic fields can be a viable alternative. These fields can harness the ample sunlight available, turning it into clean, renewable energy. But of course, there are hurdles to overcome. Land availability is a significant issue when it comes to afforestation. Not all areas have the space required for extensive tree planting. This is where the compact nature of photovoltaic fields comes into play. Their potential in dry lands, typically viewed as less productive land, is particularly promising. In conclusion, while it's clear that photovoltaic fields offer a faster route to climate change mitigation, we mustn't overlook the long-term benefits of afforestation. The two are not mutually exclusive, but rather complementary pieces of the puzzle. Thus, the key to combating climate change lies in a combination of both approaches. To sum up, both photovoltaic fields and afforestation have their roles in mitigating climate change. Photovoltaic fields can offset warming impacts rapidly and efficiently, with a break-even time of approximately two and a half years. Afforestation, on the other hand, while taking longer to achieve the same effect, provides other crucial ecological benefits. The key is a balanced approach, tailoring our strategies to the specific needs and strengths of different climate zones. To continuously be enlightened, like and subscribe.